Being connected to Notre Dame for so long, mm -hmm. um, you obviously were a student here as well. And then now, you know, the president of the university, just kind of talk about your upbringing, talk about your journey that led yeah. you to this position. Good. Well, I had a great experience at Notre Dame. I was here in the 70s a long time ago, but it was a great experience and I, I enjoyed my time here. You know, at the end of the, my undergraduate degree, I, like many uh, Notre Dame students, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So that led to some reflection and, and thought. I was always a person of faith and called to do ministry, and, be, and so I became a priest. And, but at the same time, I was always interested in education and learning. That was sort of a passion of mine. So I went on for further studies, and I was fortunate to be able to come back here and be on the faculty. I taught philosophy. And then, um, really, I, that was, I was happy doing that, and that would have been fine. But, you know, one thing leads to another. As I tell our students, you know, you don't, it's hard to plan out your life. You know, yeah. things just come up, and you do them. And that was my story. And so I had some leadership roles, and one thing led to another. And I, to my surprise, really, I didn't expect it. I became president of Notre Dame. And uh, it's just been a great privilege and to, to be part of this institution and the wonderful people that are part of it. What's, what's the bigger purpose of my life? What's the why that's just beyond? you know, narrow things like I want a big salary or something. And, and that really was what led me to this life, you know, just to, to want to do something with my life that's meaningful beyond kind of just my own selfish interest. And so that, that's how I got here, really. And it, was, it wasn't one thing, one, but it was a number of classes and people I met and just reflecting on my life that, mm -hmm. that led me here.